Hey, so today I'm going to be giving a quick rundown review on the product called Magic Shave. Now this is just a product that's used instead of using an actual razor, you mix up a powder or you can use the cream. I have both versions of it here today to just kind of review for you guys. So this right here is the powder version. This is the version that I use. This is what works best for me. I've used this maybe, I want to say five times so far, and it's been absolutely great. I wanted to stop using razors on my face because my skin would keep getting extremely irritated, and I was getting really bad razor bumps, and even though I was exfoliating and staying nice and hydrated all the time, it would still happen. It just happens. My hair is coarse, curly, and it would grow up under my skin and just create bumps and things of that nature. So I tried this product, Magic Shaved by Soft Sheen, and it worked wonders. It says here it's formulated for black men, but anybody can really use this. The blue tin is the regular strength. So again, this is the one that worked the best for me. I also tried the cream. This is what the cream looks like. This bottle comes in and this cream guys I gotta tell you if you have really sensitive skin this cream is going to mess you up this isn't a review bashing the cream or anything like that I'm just giving you my honest opinion from my honest experience that happened to me so I used the cream first before I even touched the powder because I saw that hey the cream is easier it's convenient you just squeeze it right out of the tube here and put it right onto your hand or whatever you're using to put it onto your face. You let it sit, it says here, works in only four minutes, all right? So I was excited, I ran to my local Walgreens and I got the cream, went on ahead, opened it up, read the instructions properly, because that's something like this, it's very important, you're putting it on your face, so you just really gotta pay attention, read the instructions. I put it on my face and I kid you not, it was not even four minutes, I wanna say it was I almost felt immediate burn as soon as I put it onto my face. But again, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what it should feel like. So I figured, okay, even though I just put this on my face and it's starting to actually burn really badly already, maybe that's just what this whole process feels like. So I left it on for, I wanna say three minutes. I didn't even wait the whole four minutes because it burned so bad. And again, I have a very high pain threshold. This was just literally burning the skin on my face. So I went on ahead and I was like, I gotta get this off of me quickly. I got my damp towel rag, nice like warm water, don't wanna be using cold. And I went to start like wiping my face and I saw that it had burned me badly. So I'm telling you guys this because I don't want this to happen to you guys. Some people, this cream works great. Their skin on their face isn't really sensitive and soft. Me, I don't grow a ton of facial hair. As I said, I do grow some, it's coarse and curly, but it's not like, um, it doesn't have a very big volume. So, some people use the cream, they love it, they've never had problems, but again, the cream's not for me. But anyway, so after I put the cream on, whatever I waited, I went to wipe it off and I saw that my skin, literally like a thin layer of my skin was coming off as I was wiping. So, that's how badly the cream burned me. So, I got it all off, I put the cream far, far away, and when I got on YouTube, I saw a video and the guy said he tried the cream and it burned his face badly. So he switched the powder and he never had any more issues. So I want to say a day later, I went on ahead and I purchased again, just showing you again, the powder right off of Amazon. It was relatively cheap. This whole container was maybe a dollar fifty cents, a dollar eighty cents, some somewhere around there. Um and again, I was not even nervous to try it this time because one, I knew that the cream burned and hurt extremely bad, so the powder couldn't be any much worse. And someone on YouTube said that he tried the powder versus the cream and the powder worked wonders. So I went on ahead and I put the powder on and it worked amazingly, guys. Like, almost no burn at all. I left it on for about five minutes. It says on here that you can leave it for five to seven. I left it on for five minutes. I went on ahead, um, I made sure to spray my face with a spray bottle of water after I applied this to it because it starts to dry up, you don't want it just sitting dry on your face, try to keep it moist as much as possible, but I tried the powder and it worked wonders, it worked amazing, 
it rubbed off nicely and I didn't have any, pretty much no leftover hair on my face. So again, the Magic Shave Powder works really well. And I'm gonna demonstrate it here for you guys today as well, just so you see what I'm talking about too. So I put about a full tablespoon. It says two heaping teaspoons, but I found that that was too much for me. So I just used just a little mixing container and a plastic spoon. And I put about a full tablespoon of the shave powder. Again, I don't do heaping. That was way too much for me. I put it on in there. From there, what I do, I just set the water to about lukewarm. And I just run dabs of it underneath this container. And then I just stir it up. Right, so I stir it up into a sort of toothpaste-like consistency. Maybe even a little bit more watery than toothpaste, but somewhere around there. And after that, then I apply it. I actually apply it, I used to do it with the spoon. I would apply it right onto my face with the spoon and that actually worked really well. Then I used a rag and I wiped it off afterward. But after looking on Amazon, I found this. It's like a razorless shaver by, it says by Brittany, but there's all sorts of them on Amazon. And it's literally, it's a neat little tool. It's a razorless blade. So now what I do is I use this to help spread it evenly across my face. And again, it works really well, folds in nice and neat. And I believe this was like $3 off Amazon. So I'm going to go mix this stuff up right now and get it on my face. And I'm going to give you guys that little bit of the review of it actually being on me. I'm going to try to show my face more so you can see that I do have hair growing back. It's been about four days and I have to shave about every four days. For me, every three to four days, I have to use the magic shaving powder. So I don't know if you can see well, but again, I'll show you kind of like my chin area. and all on the sides of my face as well. And underneath my neck, I try to go hit the lights on really quickly. I don't know if that helped any better, but again, I have hair all on my chin and on the side of my face as well. And I'll try to just throw some pictures in the video as well, if you guys can't see that properly. But I'm gonna go mix it up and I will be right back. All right, so I just went on ahead and figured why not actually show you guys how I mix it up, how much I mix up, and how I apply it, everything like that, instead of just doing it and coming back with the powder, you know, on my face already. So, in here, I have the Magic Shave. I have just about a tablespoon of it in there. And right now, I'm just gonna go on ahead and start getting my water all prepared. So, I have the mirror, my sink is right on over here, so you'll see me kind of standing here as I apply and things of that nature. I won't be staring directly into the camera as I do this, so I'm going to go on ahead, get my water running. And again, you don't really want the water extremely hot, just some lukewarm water is going to do. As you see, I already have my spoon, my mixture, my dry mix is sitting in here, and I'm just going to go on ahead and run in this underneath the water just a little bit, and then I'm just going to start mixing. Just a forewarning, there are a lot of people in the reviews saying, oh, this stuff doesn't mix right, it doesn't mix at all. That's not true. Um, I guess depending on if you have crappy water quality where you live, I have no clue, but it mixed up just fine for me. It's slightly difficult because it's kind of like oil and water at first, but you just got to keep mixing it and it'll eventually blend. So I'm going to go on ahead, get some water in here, just a little bit, and I'm just going to go ahead and sit here and start mixing. All right, so now I've just finished up mixing the Magic Shave Powder. Again, it is a little bit tough at first to just get it to blend together, but after that it mixed just fine. And I'll kind of show you the consistency here if you guys can see. Kind of like toothpaste, right? Kind of like toothpaste. So you don't want it just dripping and falling off of the spoon, but if you shake the spoon lightly, it should be able to fall off without sticking too much. So again, that's a consistency. I don't know if this is focused or not. And that's just about how much I use for my face. So again, I'm gonna go on ahead and apply this. I'm gonna turn just the face toward the mirror just to get it applied to my face and then I'll be right back in front of the camera. Or better yet, I'll try to turn the camera slightly to face the mirror so you can somewhat see what I'm doing while I'm applying this. Alright, so 
finally, I'm all done getting this magic shave applied to my face. For me, if I'm in a rush, I can get it done in a rush too. So if I'm getting ready to go out somewhere, I can hurry up, mix this up, and put it on all within and be done within, I want to say, 10 minutes or so. Um, so again, you'll hear a lot of people say, oh, it just takes too long. Why not just shave? Again, if you have skin like mine where it gets really irritated and a ton of bumps and things like that, this is way better. Um, so again, in the video, I, I don't know if I mentioned, but you might see like slight irritation on my skin. So I recently started using this as I said, I've used it maybe a couple times and that's how I've seen how smooth my face is after I use it. Um, I have to make sure though that every, I want to say three to four days, I'm using it because if I don't shave again in those three to four days, then my skin starts getting irritated with the new hair growth that's coming up. But I'll say this right now, ever since using Magic Shave, my irritation is nowhere near as bad. Anyway, before we get too carried away with the review so far, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm just going to use my phone and set a quick seven minute timer. Right, That's the maximum they want you to leave the stuff on for. So I'm going to set a seven minute timer and I will talk to you a little bit more about stuff that I do after I put the Magic Shave on. So I have my phone sitting there, I got the seven minute timer rolling, and just for people that want to know, because again, I was curious as well, I know this looks really funny with it sitting on my face, but it is what it is, all right? Um, so after I wipe off the Magic Shave, again, with a damp, warm towel, what I would do is then I would exfoliate my face. That's one of the most important things, like people don't exfoliate enough. Um, especially people that keep getting these razor bumps, sometimes you ask them, they're like, no, I don't like exfoliate, I just wash my face with water or when I shower with shampoo or whatever. So face care is also extremely important if you want to lessen the amount of bumps that you get or lessen the appearance of the bumps. So what I do, right after I get everything off of my face with that damn cloth, I go on ahead and I use this Magic Shave Exfoliant Cream or Exfoliating cr Cleanser, oh, I can't speak today, and it's for bump rescue and it has charcoal in there. It says it immediately removes impurities and visibly reduces the appearance of bumps. And I can attest that that is true about this product. I have several other face washing products as well that work just fine. But I tried this because again, I saw a video and it showed how good it works. Someone gave a review. So I figured, let me just try it. I already use a shaving product. So why not just try the um, actual face wash as well? And I've tried it and I really like it. Again, I've been using it. I want to say I've been using the face wash about a week now. And I already noticed a difference in the appearance of my skin. What's nice is that I don't have to use a little, like one of those scrubbing brush things. Um, one of the facial wash scrubs that you use that you put your cream on and you use it because this already has, not very abrasive, but those little charcoal dots are already in here so I don't need a face scrub. I just go on ahead, put it directly on my hand and apply it right to my face. After I apply this to my face, I go on ahead, rinse it off. And I then apply Witch Hazel. This stuff works wonders. It's been around for a really long time. I just found out about it a couple weeks ago. But I then use Witch Hazel Facial Toner on there. You can get this one right on Amazon. I believe it was like $9. So it really helps with your skin toning. And it's alcohol free. One of the most important parts about things. You want alcohol free stuff on your face. So don't just go spraying rubbing alcohol all over your face after you're finish using this. After my Witch Hazel, I go on ahead and I put some Bump Patrol on. This stuff is amazing as well and it helps to stop and prevent razor bumps and razor burn. So again, I know this is razorless shaving, but again, this is just good to have in your stock as well. It seems like some crazy face routine, but it's not. For this, what, 10, 15 minutes that you use this facial routine, it helps save you a lot of trouble and skin irritation. It helps your skin look nice, healthy, and young as well. So these couple things can make your skin look amazing. I'll be right back. So next, you just want to make sure that as you put this Magic Shade powder on your face, I can see that it's starting to dry up on me slightly and it's kind of like falling off. You don't want that to happen long term. So I just have a spray bottle filled with water. You can use your hands as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it on my face, right? Just to keep it moist. All right, 
So I sprayed my face with the spray bottle just to keep it moist. Um, again, water is gonna kinda, it's gonna dry up, right? All the water is gonna dry up after you've had this on your face for at least a couple of minutes. I'm gonna wipe that off real quick. So you just wanna make sure and keep it moist so it just doesn't dry up. You don't want it to dry up. But we got a couple more minutes here. I'm gonna go on ahead and I'll be right back. All right, so that timer has went off. It's been the six or seven minutes, I believe, that I'm supposed to leave it on for. So now I'm just gonna go on ahead. I have my damp cloth right here. I think you guys can see in the mirror. I'm gonna go on ahead and start to wipe off. Some people do scrubbing circular motions. Again, my skin is a bit weird, so I don't like to do that scrubbing circular motion. I just pretty much wipe how I would shave. So you guys saw my face already, how much hair was on there. Again, it's not a ton, but again, every three to four days I do have to shave. So here we go. All right, and that is everything pretty much wiped off. I know right here you see a little bit of blood and that's because I'll give you guys a little warning. If you have any like bumps or pimple or anything, you don't, it's not ideal to go ahead and use Magic Shave just yet until that heals up because it can burn. So if that's already open, like this was open and I put the Magic Shave on there so you see a little bit of blood or you see that it's slightly raw. So if you have open things, I advise you don't really go on ahead and put this on your face yet. But to me, it's not really a big deal. That stuff heals up in no time. And here it is. Now my face is looking extra clean. It gives it like a very clean, shiny looking appearance. So, and that's why I like, I like to have my face completely clean. I don't really like hair, you know, aside from a little bit of sideburns here and there, I don't really like hair all over my face, little patches and whatnot. I don't like that at all. So right now, you see here how it gives me a nice, clean shave. It gives me a nice, clean shave. Um, again, my skin is currently healing from using a razor before. You'll see like dark spots and such. So again, that witch hazel afterward really does help to work wonders as well. If you guys have any questions about Magic Shave itself, um, how to use it, how I liked it, how it's working for me, just go on ahead and toss a comment down below and I'll be happy to get back to y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed.